Today I'm going to show you how to use a circuit tracer to find a circuit. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. It's important you understand working on an electrical circuit that you make sure that you do it in a safe manner. And nine times out of ten your safe manner is to actually turn off the circuit. Okay? But in some cases you don't know exactly where they are. Trust me, you go into older homes, none of them are marked. I was at a panel a few weeks ago and you know, it said it was off, it should have been off because that's what it was. Turn off the breaker, take my meter, check it, couldn't, you know, it wasn't working. So the next thing I had to do is I had to pull out my fancy dancy circuit tracer. Having a circuit tracer in your tool bag is probably one of the smarter tools that you can have along with your meter uh, and your plug-in tester. You know, something like this, can run you anywhere from 25 to 55 bucks, maybe even $75, um, depending on where you buy it from. You can buy it at Home Depot, you can buy it at you know, a couple other different um, tool stores, Lowe's, things of that nature. I will put this type in the description down below, so if you want to pick one up, that would be great. There's a number of different things that you can use a circuit tracer for. Finding the breaker is what we're going to do today. Let's get started. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, we need to determine what are we gonna work on? Well, I'm gonna show you at an outlet. We're gonna work on an outlet. You take the transmitter, and the transmitter is what actually plugs into your outlet. I'm gonna take the transmitter and I'm gonna plug it into my outlet. The little red light is on. The little red light here indicates that there is power to this one, and this is what we're looking for. We need to have power to operate this type of tester. Okay, now my receiver. In order to start my receiver, there's a little button on the side. I'm going to hold it for three seconds. Once the light is on, I know I'm good to go. Okay. There is an arrow here that will light up when we find the right circuit breaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tester and we're going to hold it. And we're just going to, we're going to stay about an inch off of the breakers. And we're just going to run down the side of it. Oh. And realistically, that's all it is. One thing you have to be very aware of is anytime you have an electrical circuit, you're, you're creating some type of magnetism. So what's going to happen is these type of testers are going to put off a false reading. Your best bet is to always go down one side and come up the other and do that three to four times and as you cross over the same breaker and it keeps ringing, that's the breaker you're going to want to use. Shut it off, go over to the device and check to see if the red light is out. And the red light is out. So we found the right breaker. And that's pretty much it. I wanted to create a short little quick video on some tools that I use and how to use them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and be safe.